Ladies and gentlemen, the Federal Bureau of Investigation was working with Trump for about a year and a half. And they were working so closely with Trump that they sent him a thank you card, which is what I talked about in the Wall Street Journal. I cited a Wall Street Journal article prior to this segment. But now here's a Daily Mail article that'll show you exactly why this will end in a mistrial, okay, or an acquittal, but likely a mistrial. And there won't be another jury. There won't be another trial. This is an obvious attempt at government going after their direct political rival. This is why he was Trump was impeached in his first, the first impeachment was about Trump going after Biden. But now Biden's Department of Justice is treating Trump in a manner that, no, that Hillary Clinton was never treated. The, the, the hubris and the arrogance and the narcissism is unbelievable. Now you can have private servers siphoning classified data onto secret private service President Obama didn't even know about, apparently. Of course he knew. But here, Daily Mail, Trump now accuses Federal Bureau of Investigation of ripping off the the lock they asked him to install in the Mar-a-Lago basement where boxes of documents were kept. As the report claims, an informant told the agents where to look. Former President Donald Trump uh, on Truth Social, okay, uh, in his recent post, he confirmed um, a Justice Department officials made a rare visit to Mar-a-Lago months before the raid. They... They actually told him, and this was within the Wall Street Journal article, and it's within this Daily Mail article. They said, go ahead, put another lock, an extra lock. In early June, quote, in early June, the Department of Justice and the Federal Bureau of Investigation asked my legal representative to put an extra lock on the door leading to the place where boxes were stored in Mar-a-Lago. We agreed. How on earth is this within the same universe as secret private servers siphoning classified data. They worked together, ladies and gentlemen, and hit subscribe to this channel. They worked together and came to an agreement that he needed more locks. Now you could say, well, he shouldn't have had the classified data. That's why they're going after him. It's like, well, they already knew that. They could have indicted him prior. They don't know if he if he actually has data that's classified after his presidency because like I explained the Supreme Court ruling Navy versus Egan stated that the commander in chief has the ultimate ability to the, the commander in chief has the ultimate ability to declassify the president can declassify anything he'd like even verbally according to one political article so they don't know if you they're going to have to prove not that Trump's not going to have to prove he declassified anything. He could just say he did as president because there's no precedent of a president being indicted. Now you've opened up the Pandora's box. Now Hunter and Joe and Hillary and Bill, once Trump is in office with a new attorney general, will look at obvious crimes. Which, okay, the only thing that is incriminating is the audio tape where he says, okay, he has this document that's classified. But you don't know if he's telling the truth or engaging in hyperbole. And you don't know if he showed the document. And you don't know if he declassified the document and he's just saying that. His defense could easily be, well, he declassified the document as president. Clinton had no power to declassify. She was secretary of state. So, but here, Trump fumed in a recent truth social. Agents broke a lock they allegedly asked him to put on the room where documents were kept. In early June, the Department of Justice and the Federal Bureau of Investigation Asked my legal representatives to put an extra lock on the door leading to the place where boxes were stored in Mar-a-Lago. We agreed. They were shown the secured area and and the boxes themselves. Then on Monday, with no notification, an army of agents broke into Mar-a-Lago, went to the same storage area, ripped open the lock they asked me to install. So they asked them to install a lock, and then they go in. It, It was, okay, so days after the investigator visit, They reportedly sent a letter to Trump's staff on June 8th asking them to secure the room where they observed the documents being stored. It was then that Locke was reportedly placed on the door. You could say, well, you know what? It shouldn't have been stored there. Fine. But they had already seen, like, he was working with the Bureau. He was working with the Department of Justice. And according to Alan Dershowitz and any uh, other legal scholars, you don't have to just, you, you can actually have, God forbid, your attorneys protect you. If you know that the government or anyone 
any corporation, for example, or government or entity or person is trying to treat you in an unfair, um, despicable manner, utilizing the law against you for malicious purposes. Okay, this is about malice. This is about malice. This is about a petulant, apoplectic, malicious attempt at getting Trump. Hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen. Go to hagoodman.com to read my writing on The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications. And um, to my new members, in the, thank you. The super thanks is below. To my new Patreons, thank you. And to the new subscribers, thank you so very, very much. It was a little slow on the channel the past couple of months, but now it's heating up. Tell your friends. The best thing that you can do if you enjoy my work, tell your friends to uh, subscribe to this channel if, they, if you enjoy my viewpoint on things. Okay, The FBI essentially cleared Trump. They had already told him. They gave him a thank you note from a top agent, a counterintelligence official. Okay, They knew exactly where he was holding the boxes. Him, the, assist, the assistant, the staffer... Um, Nada, he should never be, he should never have even been indicted. Um, Walt Nada. Um, sorry. Yeah, he should never, personal aid came to be charged as Trump's, uh, okay. What they're doing is the same thing. The authoritarians, the despots, the totalitarians, people who went after, when they, they say that Trump is this bully. But see, the, the worst thing that Trump does is insult people. What the like the Paul Ryans and Hillary Clintons of the world, mainly Hillary Clinton and and Democrats and media and you have the most nefarious, insidious bullies in Hollywood, media, government against Trump. They what they do is actually try to destroy someone's life. Through endless hit pieces, through uh, frivolous lawsuits against Trump, and or accusations of him being an operative of another country, notice that everything they've accused Trump of has never been accurate. They're the actual that you, for people who don't understand politics and they just see this this theatrical performance, this performance art by by the morally superior almost always apoplectic, wonderful, highly educated liberal Democrats among us. They're such good people that they, Democrats preside over the greatest poverty in every major city, the greatest crime rates, the greatest poverty, and it's Democrats, Democratic mayors. And you look at what's taking place in, in, in Democratic uh, states, it's like there's a reason that people are moving to red states, but hey, that's another story. Dem we had record low poverty with Trump. Record highs in household median income in 2019, three years into his presidency. So, and we didn't have an endless military conflict, quagmire in Europe. That was under Biden. And by the way, he was the point person for that country. But the, tr the true bullies, and this is, this is also, well, I'll do some work tomorrow or very soon on, it's going to be a mistrial. Especially in Florida, D.C. and New York, they're just going to try to, you know, convict Trump, and they'll be overturned by the Supreme Court. If there's even a hint of bias, which the entire indictment is completely biased against Trump, if there's even a hint of bias, if the government doesn't uh, withhold, if, if the government withholds exculpatory evidence, okay, the jury will see the thank you note. The jury will see. Um, that moving boxes does not equate to trying to deceive the United States government, because they knew that they knew where the boxes were. They had already been given a tour of Mar-a-Lago. Clinton never gave a tour of where she was storing the servers, and that's that's another thing. I mean, the double standard. You have to be pretty arrogant. You have to be almost a narcissist to just ignore the double standard. You can't just indict Trump and then ignore the fact that what Clinton did, and I think Hillary Clinton will be the 24 nominee for the Democratic Party. I don't know how. I don't want to know how. <laughs> I don't know how. But somehow, I just think, I think that if you, if you go through the effort of creating this new Cold War and, and accusing uh, Trump of everything under the sun and then you don't become nominee... And you and you you get him indicted for classified data when it's, 
Yet servers siphoning classified data for four years. Top secret intel. Anyway, hit subscribe to this channel right 